welcome to John's Model Making. Today we've got Eddie Storbeck. Yes, the next four issues. 131 to 134. Excellent. We've got the last of the roof joists. And the first three panels for the floor. So this is going to be ultra quick, this issue. Because they just drop into place. I believe the first one has some little vertical ribs, it says, on the sides. Uh, we'll have a look at that afterwards anyway. We're getting into place. Um, the joists, well, they're straightforward enough anyway. But we can have a look at the magazine because there's always a troubleshooting guide and how to operate the lights. So we can always flick through that and then you can refer to that because I believe one or two people are having problems. So let's have a quick look at the instructions. Okay, now, issue 131, trailer, roof joists. Yeah, the last five, there we go. DD12, can't remember who got it, it'd be 10, won't it? And then we have DP15 in the middle five of and that is it that is the roof choice completed and there we go first trailer floor panel coming in one three two and there it is yeah fit panel one three two to the floor of the trailer ensuring that it sits inside the lips on the bottom side rails of the trailer there are three small vertical ribs on each side of the panel circled to ensure a tight fit if you cannot fit it firmly in place, reduce the thickness of the ribs with a fine file or sandpaper. There we go. So that's the first one. And then, there we go. Operating the lights. So how to fit the batteries. And as he switch, switch in on the lights. Um, yeah, even tells you open the passenger door to get to the switch. And that is it. In future issues, operating the indicators, operating the brake lights and troubleshooting. Okay, let's see, 131. Hey, another floor panel. Same as before, but it doesn't mention those. No, it doesn't. Just make sure it fits inside the lips on the side and butts up to the first panel, fair enough. And then operating the lighting, operating the indicators, 7705. There's a little picture of the dash and where the switch is. There we go. The indicator lights, front and back. There we go, that is it, and there's the brake pedal. And in 134, we have the third panel. Exactly the same as before, just make sure you butt it up into place and get it in between uh, the chassis beams. And then the troubleshooting guide. Now this is probably best. Uh, it's getting the numbers correct. I would imagine 0, 06 and 0, 09 can be a problem. For some people, I'm sure that's easily done, but there we go. So here is the key. So number one is the front light right, number two is the front light left, number three is the front and side indicators left, number four is front and side indicators right, number five is main power switch turns on headlights and tail lights, number six is brake pedal operates brake lights, number seven dashboard switch operates indicators, number eight battery connection, number nine tail light left, number ten tail light right. Number 11, rear indicator left. Number 12, rear indicator right. There we go. So you follow that. Don't suppose you can go really wrong. And that is the rest of the magazine. And coming in the next issue, the last floor panel. So there we go. That'll be it for these four issues. We've got six issues left. Uh, we know one of them is going to be the fourth floor panel. So that means we'll probably get four for the roof. And that means one um issue left at the end unless they do the roof in a complete one um which can't see them doing but it would be good if it if it was but you never know uh yeah, it would be better wouldn't it really yeah but anyway we've only got six issues left that's brilliant two and a half more payments that's how i look at it anyway without further ado let's get on with the build here we go let's get the parts out so we've got dd12 the DP15 screws, yeah. Excellent. Get the trailer. Okay, no, there we go. There is the trailer. Let's put the first joist into place. There we go. So we need DD12 at the ends and DP15 in the middle. So 
So we'll get all these in supplies first. There we go. Those decided to come out. Get in. And the last one. There we go. Excellent. So DD12. Ten of these. I bet you want some music now, don't you? Excellent, there we go, that's all them screws in place. I don't think we'll need the spurs anymore. So I can bend them and now we can get the floor panels into place. Excellent stuff. Okay, now let's get the first panel in place. We start at the rear of the trailer for this panel. And there it is. Now there is a little one, two, three. They call them ribs. Um, yeah, there's three on each side. So basically, get that into place. There we go. That ensures it's a nice tight fit. Excellent. So that's the first one nicely in place. And now we can get the second one in place. Issue 133. Again, yep. There's one there, one there, one there. Um, yeah, same on both sides. Can't really show you on the camera, but just put that up to the other panel and then the light like little tabs, basically. There you go. Excellent. That's going in nice and tight. Yeah. Butt up there, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That. Let's do the last one. Okay, let's get the last panel out. I would imagine this is exactly the same. Let's see if I can show you. There's a little pip there. You just about feel it. It's like a little tooth. I don't think you can really see it on the. Yeah, but it's on both sides anyway. And obviously, we got a glossy side and a matte side. Now I'm on the glossy side up. And it's just a case of drop it into place, press it down, and those little pips are on either end, either side I should say, will keep it into place. Brilliant. That's nice and bonny. One more to go. Well there we go folks, that's all three panels in place. Now this one was a little bit um, tricky. It won't sit flush, uh, it kept popping up. So the little ribs that are on the sides, there's three on each side. Just use a little sanding stick, there we go. Just rub it down just a little bit and you'll find it will sit in place, just like that. Only that one, the other two, perfectly fine. Just popped up uh, just in one corner. You try pushing it down, it won't stay down. And it is them little ribs. Um, just make it a little bit too tight just for that one 
So we've only got this one to do. Then we've got the roof panel, or the roof to do. Um, I don't know what colour that's going to be. Um, <clears throat> I hope there's some, I don't know, detail to it, because, I mean, I don't mind the floor being like that. You know, you can either have it uh, dull or very shiny. So you can either, either have it either way. It doesn't really matter. But it looks lovely, nice and shiny. And they're all butted up quite well, them as well. Um, and then it's just a matter of putting the curtains on. Uh, I do believe there's something about the rear bumper um, that we're, uh, we've got to add on to. I know we're not going to get a light straight, which is a shame, but there we go. Um, but yes, so only six more issues. Four at the top and one here. Unless we get a surprise and it's one complete one. <laughs> I doubt it. Or just two even. And then there's more. I can't see what else we could add to it, to be honest. Um, the curtains, obviously, they go on and they clamp on at either side. I thought there would have been a runner for, for the um, curtains, to be honest. You know, you can unclamp it and then just run it along. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be stretched out and you'll have to tuck it in. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't... Anyway, we'll wait and see, won't we? <laughs> you can speculate as much as we want. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is it for this month. So, really, really quick issue that one there's no technical tips just have a look at the troubleshooting guide if you want um i've not gotten too in depth in the troubleshooting guide because it's pretty straightforward i think the most anybody uh or the biggest problems anybody could come across is actually putting the um, um numbers in the incorrectly like six and nine or six or nine easily get them upside down the rest should be straightforward enough um but uh, yeah it's just a I would imagine it's just a wiring issue and then just finding out where the controls are but we know where they are anyway that's going back up on the shelf and it's going to go up on the bigger shelf up there because the u-boat's going to go there um eventually yeah excellent anyway there we go thanks for that thanks for <laughs> thanks for that thanks for tuning in and watching stay safe if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe and have a look at my other builds on my channel thanks again stay safe bye for now Thank you.